You may or may not be familiar with the name Harrison Floyd, who's uh, one of Trump's people involved in this uh, Georgia case. Uh, his lawyer, Kacharov. You would actually expect, well, probably wouldn't any lawyer connected to uh, the former losing president, to have some level of, uh, well, calamity. Circus about them. Uh, not really. You know when one hand doesn't know what the other hand's doing? Uh, with this Kacharov guy, he's probably going to use the line. He had no idea he was taking part in a live I would imagine, as far as his client's concerned, uh, important hearing, because he's clearly not dressed for it. Caught with his pants down is the accurate description of this. Okay, uh, well, let's get back in at, at four o'clock. Uh, Mr. Riley, you can just step out of the jury room. Fine or left? Uh, well, yeah, well, yeah. I would say uh, over. I get one for the Yes, yeah. I'm going to Yeah. I'm just going to admit all of them, but I'm trying to find the one ahead so that you can, you know. Mm -hmm. like the same thing? Yeah. David yeah, Schaefer. Thank you. Books! Ladies and gentlemen, no. 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 for a race featuring a motley crew of desperate losers. Hi, let's have play. Lucky's weekend in six. We're destroying our country, and we're gonna. I just wish we could do it quicker. I'd much rather see Biden as president. And I agree with him. I can't see too many people out there. I can only see the black ones. I can't see any white ones. Sidney Poitier thought he was very handsome. Right? I'm being indicted for you. The black population lawyers are my best friend. You see, black people walking around with my mugshot. You know that mugshot is number one. Elvis Presley is Elvis Presley is number two. I'm a very proud Christian, actually. We're going to protect pro my God. Context and content. Zion, Zion and Ying, the Golden Gadai, the voices of famed evangelical people and evangelists. He rambled. He's cognitively impaired. Three years later, ladies and gentlemen, cover that. I talked to Putin a lot. I'm not sure you look great in bathing suits. I think women like me. Beverly Hills, they have fortune in taxes. They say you can only brush your teeth once a I don't think it could ever be wokenized in the so-called Department of Education. We might have one desk, one person, just to make sure everyone's speaking English. They have languages that nobody in this country has ever heard of. Nobody can ramble like this. God is here and God is watching. And God probably can't believe what he's seen. They rigged the presidential election, and we're not going to allow them to rig the presidential election of 2000. Folks, like the memo. Memo. And then get the memo. They never got the memo. What memo is that? Uh, to be negative, uh, to tell lies, make stuff up, and blame everybody on the IDEM. So I'm going to go to the top of the race. Can they finish the line? Somebody at Fox didn't read the memo. We're going to be the front runner of the Fox Daily Searching Out Lies and Fear. The crowd can hardly contain their tell some truth. It's a spectacle like no other. A parade of desperate losers and shameless liars vying for your attention and, more importantly, your vote. Then instantly forgetting you exist. Now we need someone. Anyone I can't spot one winner. And there it is, folks. Tim Nice but deceptive Scott manages to cross the finish line last, leaving in front a trail of half-truths and empty promises. Republicans to kill the bill, essentially. He didn't like it. He got enough people. He, he's the leader of the party. In terms got of unity, people with him. though, Brett, that I, I mean, has he looked at dead. the House of Representatives lately? Has he looked at the GOP Senate? I, I don't see a unified party. I see a party where over half of her supporters right now would not vote for him. I don't think it's an unfair case, though, to say, look, I have put on the table, President Biden put on the table more uh, tough border restrictions than any Democratic president in history came to Congress, Republicans agreed with him, and then a bunch of Republicans walked away for political reasons. So I think he should do both. I think he should do the policy. I think he should say, here's some of the things we've already done. Here are things we're going to do more of. We need to get more resources. We need to get shorter wait times. We need to get all of those things that were in this bill. I hope he says all of that, but he should remind people that he came to the table and said yes, and conservative Republicans walked away from it to help Donald Trump. That's not an unfair thing to remind voters it's of. It's what we... Uh, for no reason, I was on the escalator and I thought, that's literally what I thought. I got the electric shock, so I stopped saying what I was going to say. Sometimes you need to step back and you go, why are things happening the way they are? And I know we've all seen op-eds uh, mm -hmm. talking about this through the years, but... 
The Republicans have lost seven of the last yeah. eight presidential elections when it comes to popular vote. They've been able, they figured out in 16 how to win, um, and, and just barely, and they did it through the Electoral College. But, you know, <clears throat> gee, not to get too deep in it here, but I'm going to get deep in it here because it's just kind of what I do. If you take away Ralph Nader in 2000, mm -hmm. and you take away Jill Stein in 2016, get this, a Republican, a Republican would yeah. not have been elected president this century. And that's, of course, assuming Bush doesn't run in 2004, win re-election. But, but the Republicans have lost the country. Yeah. They've lost, you know, they've won one. This is amazing. Since 1992, Republicans have won the popular vote one time. So what do you do if you know you're going to lose it? You've lost the country. You're not going to change anything. You're just going to keep denying elections, and they're trying to perfect yeah. it now. No real runway here to sustain a long-term, you know, growth prospects for Republican Party with Donald Trump as its head, and it has spent the last eight years systematically taking out the the, the leadership that could win. I got an electric shock. <laughs> Whatever I was going to say is like literally, I've been shocked. After you've had an electric shock from nowhere, it doesn't matter what clips I play you. Um, today is Tuesday, what are we, 25th, 27th of Feb. <laughs> um, I've lost for words. It's a shame that other people couldn't be lost for words. How much better would the place be if, uh, you know, these people, I've lost my car as well. I'm trying to find my car in the car park as well. It's early Tuesday morning. How much better would it be if those that are always rambling on, uh, if we went a day without hearing from them? There it goes. Uh, have you ever been in a car park before when you've lost your car? I have no idea where I parked. I have absolutely no idea. I'm going to have to try and uh, press the button and see if I can find it. Uh, by the way, Talon's turning towards 24 7 eyes, and um, this is our kind of daily morning roundup from uh, Jim Acosta. Morning, Joe, and the clowns at Fox and Friends. Uh, do you think by the time I played you all of these clips, I may well have found my car? All right, let's see what happens. Thank Keep you your fingers crossed. Thinking somehow it won't work out for Trump. I want her to make her own decision. There's a lot of money coming in and a lot of people making a lot of money. But I hope when she does get out, and she will have to because she's going to lose her home state. And that's not a slam on her. Nobody could beat Trump in South Carolina. Jesus could beat Trump, but other than that... And James, I have to ask you about, you know, Trump. Over the last several days, we've heard Trump and his allies say all kinds of uh, outlandish things from Trump saying that black voters are more likely to support him because of his indictments. Uh, to Steve Bannon saying, uh, you know, the, the big lie over and over again that the election was 20, uh, the 2020 election was stolen. Uh, do you have any thoughts on how Biden can defeat that? Because, I mean, it, it has taken hold in the Republican Party, and that is what we're going to be hearing throughout the rest of this campaign. My thought is Democrats need to go on the offense strong and immediate with reproductive issues front and center. And also don't discount book burning. And just right now, we're winning elections left and right, Jim. We hadn't lost an election since Dobbs. That's, that's a fact. That's an underreported and underappreciated fact. We have a financial advantage now. And I'm a big believer in politics. When, when you got somebody down, you, you just kick the living you know what out of them. And I think that's what the White House needs to do. And I think Democrats around the country need to jump on this early and, and, and tank them. This Alabama ruling is, is literally insane. And they're not paying for it yet. And we're not making them pay for it. And the White House always has somebody asking them a question. Let's, let's get the microphone in somebody else's face here. For Johnson have a whole lot of leverage uh, here. Is he kind of a stand in for Donald Trump? Well, he's in a tough spot because he's yeah. got a really divided party. His, you know, he's got like 100, 120 people in his conference that want to govern sort of normally. And then he's got a bunch of people that maybe don't want to govern normally. And by normally, I mean, you know, just pass these things and, and, and move the process along. Uh, I'm stuck in traffic, so I can think for a while. I don't get it. Why are the Republicans, as we're heading to uh, an election, 2024, uh, why do they want to have a lockdown? What is that going to achieve? Uh, bearing in mind the mess they've already made over the border, I don't really get how suddenly um, 
them deciding to put toffee in the works. That's the best thing. Have a tantrum. Normally, uh, I have a five-year-old, so if you have a tantrum, you put your arm around them, you get over it. I don't know. Do you think it's a situation there's no love amongst each other in the Republican Party? What is going to be achieved by shutting everything down? Is it something like, uh, what's it? Johnson did a McCarthy, uh, hopped over to, or hopped down to Florida, and a former guy gave him some instructions, caused bad news. Is that what it's about? Is the shutdown just going on simply uh, for political reasons? Because I can't think of any other reason why it would be happening. Bad news. Uh, I'm amazed that yeah, some of that Fox haven't got a graphic. Countdown to shutdown. And of course, this is the craziest thing about it. Uh, when the shutdown, if it happens, yeah, it will be all President Biden's fault. Even though the shutdown is being caused by Trumpy Trumps. <laughs>